section I problem 4 this is a lathe jaw this is what it would look like first we will create this extrusion then we will use cut revolve to make all of these features then cut extrude and finally chamfer so let's close this and start with a new part start on the top plane center rectangle line this line and this line would be for construction now give the dimensions this is 89 24 and this angle would be 30 you can add the fillets of 5 mm there are total 5 fillets on all the edges Five mm. Now we can extrude this. The extrusion height is sixty two. Now for the cut revolve, we can sketch on the right plane. Sketch the basic boundary. Here we have to extend a bit further because uh, if we keep the line over here then while we cut extrude some of the portion will remain and will not cut properly so we have to extend a bit further. Now give the dimensions. Control 8. This is 36, 24, and it is already defined. Then this height 16, this is also 16. That is done. Now we will create a center line from where we will. Uh, cut revolve this would be the axis and this distance it is given 41 we can see it from here it is 41 from this edge now create a corner rectangle You can just uh, take it from all the way. This is 5, and this edge would be constrained. This one. Now, for the features at the bottom, these ones, it is uh, given in this view. The thickness is 3 mm and the distance between them is 6. So we can just make one and then pattern 7 times. So create one rectangle. This distance is 26. And this gap is 3. This is one feature we can uh, make uh, linear pattern it's seven times seven in the reverse direction and uh, the distance between them the gap would be five there are six gaps of five mm so we have seven features now we can trim what we need to keep while uh, we cut so trim all these edges that we need to keep now this is complete 
now add the triangular features these ones for that we can uh, take a center line from the center this distance of center line height is given 1.5 and the angle one of the lines you can take 40 we already give the perpendicular constraint so we don't have to define for the other one now again take a center line from here and take a normal line uh, uh, sketch on this uh, perpendicular line so you don't have to give constraint again similarly repeat it and perpendicular then again make the center lines vertical so uh, they will be black and constrained now select all of these edges all of these lines and make it equal with one of these lines so everything would be constrained now select these lines that we previously made and make it for construction and then sketch on the same lines to join all the points so when you do this everything will remain constrained and you will not have to define any constraints again so this is why I did that now all the contours are complete we can just go to revolve cut select the axis of revolution it will automatically select all the contours press enter and this is done now we can uh, sketch on the surface to make uh, center lines one from here and another from here make sure these are constrained now select line sketch on one side now give all the dimensions this height is 6 this radius is 2 this distance would be 4 that is half of 8 this would be tangent and finally this angle would be 35 by 2 so now select all of these mirror mirror about this axis again select all of these mirror mirror about this axis now go to extrude cut cut through all all the way this is done now finally add the chamfers the chamfers are of 3 mm this would be 3 there are a total of 5 chamfers this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 Let's apply the material. It is alloy steel. Let's check the mass 552.25 grams. 
552.25 grams so this is correct next part in the next video thank you